Hi, and welcome to Philosophy 120 Intro to Ethics. I'm Professor Boyle, you can call me Colleen, and this video will give you a short guide to finding your way around the Canvas site for this course. So I've gone to 4cd.instructure.com and logged in, and I'm directed to the dashboard, which displays all the courses I'm taking, or in my case, teaching. And somewhere among your course cards, you should see one for Philosophy 120. And if you mouse over that card and click, you'll be taken to the home page for our course. The home page has four main columns. In the center, you'll find the content for the current page. On the near left, you'll find links to all of the elements of the course. And we'll come back to this in a second. On the far left are links to your general Canvas information, your courses, your dashboard, your account information, and the Mail Center. You can contact me by clicking on Inbox, and then clicking the little icon at the top of the page with a pencil. If you select this course from the course drop down menu. You can select teachers from the to drop down menu. And then click on my email, or you can just type in cboil at contracosta.edu. You can also get help. If you're having a technical problem with Canvas, you can call the Canvas support line for Contra Costa College students. Or you can ask me a question about Philosophy 120 by submitting a question to your instructor. Finally, on the right-hand column, you'll find upcoming deadlines, assignments, or other activities, and the course calendar. I really recommend that you subscribe to the calendar. Then you can set up your phone to send you alerts. You can integrate your course schedule with all of your other schedules. To do that, click on View Calendar. and then on Calendar Feed over toward the bottom of the right-hand column. Click on the link they provide, and then follow your calendar's instructions for adding a calendar from a URL. Okay, back at the home page, you have a few options for navigating around the course. The simplest way for you to start is to click the Get Started button on the home page. And that will lead you through the course step by step in the order you need to do the readings and complete the assignments. At the bottom of each page, just click on Next to keep going, or Previous to review the previous page. You can also navigate by using the near left-hand sidebar. You can browse Announcements for the course, look through all the assignments, and this includes all of our discussions, our exams, and our worksheets. I have most of them locked right now so they don't show up on the student course page yet. You can browse assignments by their due date or by the type of assignment. You can also go straight to a list of all the discussion assignments 
go straight to a list of all the quizzes. Those are your reading worksheets. You can check your grades or you can read the syllabus. The other thing you can do is navigate via modules for the course. Our course is chunked up into parts called modules. We've got a brief introductory section, and then four contemporary topics that we'll explore. If you want to review something we've already covered, it's often easier to find it this way, or you might just prefer to navigate the course this way. If you click on modules, then select the content or the assignment you want to access and click on it. You can get to the modules either from the left-hand sidebar or on the home page. And you access the home page by clicking home from most other pages in the course. I'll announce dates for live chats throughout the course. To contact me during a live chat, just click on the chat link in the near left sidebar and enter your text in the bottom of the screen. You also have this handy link to the library. Okay, feel free to start browsing to get a sense of how the site is set up. And if you'd like, feel free to start working your way through the introductory section. It's optional to get started early, but it will ease the time pressure during the first week if you've had a chance to get through the introduction already. I look forward to seeing you on April 2nd. Thanks, goodbye.